Have you ever thought about traveling underwater? For today's video, we're going to learn about the top five underwater trains in the world. It's no longer a challenge for humans to cross into different types of terrain, and in the 21st century, it can be done safely. Humans have developed different ways to travel through land, water, and air. I'd say that the greatest, most profound form of transport is underwater transport. I mean, have you ever wondered how underwater trains are built? Number 5. China Greenlight's First Underwater High-Speed Railway China's bullet train network is rapidly expanding, with plans to extend it under the sea in the near future. Beijing has approved the construction of a 77-kilometer high-speed rail link connecting Ningbo, a port city south of Shanghai, and Zhushan, an archipelago off China's east coast. It will feature a 16.2-kilometer subsea tunnel, which will be the country's first for high-speed trains. The new route will connect to China's existing high-speed network and transport passengers within 80 minutes from Hangzhou, Zhejiang Province's capital, to Zhushan. By bus, this trip takes about four and a half hours, and it takes around two and a half hours by car. Like most high-speed trains in China, those using the Ningbo-Zhushan rail link will travel at speeds of 250 kilometers per hour marginally slower than the TGV trains that run through France and Japan's Shinkansen bullet trains which travel at 320 km per hour. China's high-speed rail network, which spans 12,500 km, is the world's largest, with the government aiming to complete 38,000 km of track by 2025. Number 4. India's Underwater Train on February 13, 2020, Kolkata, India's city of joy, will host the country's first underwater race. The said train is a metro line, the East-West Corridor, and will run between Salt Lake Sector 5 and Howrah. The metro line in question is approximately 16 kilometers long, with a portion of it running underwater in the Hooghly River. The Metro Line's twin tunnels are 520 meters long and built 30 meters below the riverbed. The tunnel is fortified with four layers of protection to shield it from the water of the mighty Hublai River. When the train passes through the tunnel at 80 kilometers per hour, the section between Haura and Mahakaran Metro stations will be under the river for only about a minute. The first phase of the project, which connects Salt Lake Sector 5 to Salt Lake Stadium, is nearly finished and will be operational soon. According to Railways, the project will ferry 1 million passengers per day by 2035. The Metro train is India's first of its kind, drawing comparisons to the Eurostar, which connects London and Paris. It's estimated that the train will travel at a depth comparable to a 10-story building while underwater. The Metro train's underwater stretch will be made up of twin tunnels made of 1.4-meter wide concrete rings. They've also been outfitted with hydrophilic gaskets to keep water out of the tunnels. The project has been hailed by the Kolkata Metro Rail Corporation KMRC, as signaling many of the firsts in the country. The Metro train inaugurated on February 13, 2020 by Railway Minister Payush Goel, making it the city's second Metro line. Number 3. Eurostar The new Eurostar, the newest train that runs beneath the sea connecting England to France and beyond. Meet the Eurostar E320, one of 17 all-new trains set to enter service later next year as part of a $1.57 billion upgrade to the company's trains, networks, and stations. Eurostar is a train service that connects London to Paris and beyond. Of course, there's a sea in the way, but the Eurostar travels beneath it via the 31-mile channel tunnel. The tunnel's construction began in 1988 and was completed in 1994 at a cost of 4.6 billion pounds. It was a massive undertaking, but once completed, it provided a quick and comfortable way to travel between England and mainland Europe without having to fly or take a ferry. This year marks Eurostar's 27th anniversary, 
And what better way to commemorate the occasion than with a fleet of gleaming new trains? The interior design is bright and welcoming. Journey times and destination information are displayed on LCD screens that drop from the roof. Eurostar claimed that it had crammed in 20% more seats while also improving legroom. It accomplished this by utilizing much slimmer seats. The new trains have a maximum capacity of 894 passengers and will feature free Wi-Fi throughout the train, marking the first time that wireless internet will be available on a Eurostar train. When you first log on, you'll be greeted by Eurostar's portal, which will provide you with real-time journey information, as well as travel advice for your destination, such as things to see and do and weather forecasts. The trains are all electric and their aerodynamics were rigorously tested in wind tunnels to improve their efficiency over previous models. Siemens, which makes the trains, explains that external components like the air conditioning units have been integrated into the body of the train to reduce wind resistance. Number 2. Saikon Tunnel, Japan Japan's 53.85-kilometer Saikon Railway Tunnel runs through Suguru Strait and connects the Amori Prefecture on Honshu Island to the Hokkaido Island. The Saikon Tunnel is the world's deepest and longest railway tunnel, with its track at 140 meters below sea level. The tunnel is under the seabed approximately 23.3 kilometers away, making it the longest underwater tunnel in the world. The $3.6 billion project was developed by the Japan Railway Construction Transport and Technology Agency and is operated by JR Hokkaido. Approximately 50 trains travel through the tunnel per day. The freight and passenger services were started in March 1988. In March 2018, the tunnel finished 30 years after it opened. The track at the Saikon Tunnel is a triple slab track capable of running Shinkansen bullet trains. The tunnel comprises two railway stations, Tapi Katai on Honshu Island and Yoshioka Katai on Hokkaido Island, which are the first railway stations built under the sea and also act as emergency escape points in the event of a disaster. The stations are equipped with exhaust fans for smoke depletion, infrared fire alarms, and spray nozzles to improve safety of passengers. The seabed of the tunnel comprises a pilot shaft, a service shaft, and a main shaft. The service shaft is connected to the main tunnel, while the pilot shaft serves as the service tunnel for the central 5-kilometer portion. Number 1. Dubai's Underwater Train With its world records, the UAE has never stopped surprising everyone. The UAE has done great things in almost all areas, whether it's shopping, theme parks, architectural marvels, culture, or soaring tourism. There is groundbreaking news that makes things even more exciting for travelers. Earlier, your fun and excitement began when you arrived in the UAE. Now it will start even before you start your journey. As one of the countries that always trusted to invest in making dreams a reality, the UAE is continuing the technology after investments in smart tunnels. The UAE will be building a high-speed train from Mumbai to Dubai, ready to establish another benchmark. This underwater network will connect the two countries and transport passengers, as well as they will be used to transport oil and other goods. This idea was conceptualized with the sole aim to improve travel between India and UAE. This is how the concept of super-speed underwater bullet trains came into existence. There was a time when it was extremely easy to travel to Dubai, as there was nothing to see in Dubai. But now that the city is the crown prince of the UAE and one of the world's largest tourist destinations, things are now different. The high-speed Mumbai to Dubai underwater rail will start from Mumbai to Fajera, covering a total distance of 2,000 odd kilometers. The approximate time required to finish the distance is less than two hours. It will be a huge challenge to maintain the balance of sea life and the level of sea to ensure the cruise travel does not hit. However, transportation of goods is made more expensive than passenger transport so that it is cost effective for everyone. The state-of-the-art design is critical for its accuracy and the design for the high-speed underwater rail 
is widely applauded for its thoughtful design. Which train do you think is the best underwater train? Please share it with us in the comment section below and please smash that subscribe button for more videos like this.